All right, fam, what's happening? Jay Sinister, boom, Jay Sinister Productions, back again, and I have to solve a little problem that, well, it's not a problem. There's something I want to do, and I need to solve the problem, and I figured out how to do it. And I've also done something that I haven't done in a long time, and I suggest you do too when it comes to purchasing your new RCs, especially for those who have a YouTube channel or who like to do videos of unboxings. So stick around. After we pay those bills, we roll that intro footage. KKK Sinister Productions. All right, family, again, thanks again for coming. We're back, Jay Sinister Productions. I want to thank everyone who subscribed, everyone who leaves comments. Hey, big ups and congratulations to all the winners of all of our contests, especially with our most current winners going out to Coach D and CSL RC Lauren Cronish. Hey, you guys will be getting your winnings soon. I'll be dropping those off at probably UPS within the next day or two, and I'll be getting those tracking numbers out to you. But before we go any further, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I ask you to do that only so you know when videos pop up, especially for giveaways. For all my subscribers, I just want everyone to have that chance to win something for free, get some free swag, and the best way to do that, boom, is to hit that notification bell. But I did something recently that I think everyone should try that does YouTube RC unboxings or any unboxing for that matter. I unboxed my stuff and didn't even record it. And that's something I think we all need to do because we unbox for the public, but we don't get to enjoy the unboxing for ourselves. So I just took this out of the box, bam, had a great time. And the reason why I did it, there's plenty of unboxings of this particular vehicle, but I do have a small problem that comes with this vehicle. And to display that problem and to show you how I plan on fixing it, I'm bringing out my alter ego. He's going to sound the same. And this El Mexico. That's El Magico, brothers and sisters. And I like to do magic. And El Magico likes to use magic boards to display and show his magic. So right now, as you can see, there's absolutely nothing behind the board, nothing on the board. But here's the problem I have. I'm going to put something behind this box. Let me just grab it from over here. Slap it down. Okay, I purchased this item right here a while back, and this is a Team Raffi two axle trailer. Okay, I purchased this trailer a while back with the intentions of trailering something. Well, at the time I didn't have anything to travel, excuse me, to trailer. But now that I have this item, and let me grab this item from over here again, let's grab from this side, boom. Now I have this to trailer, and that's what I have here, and that's the Red Cat Racing 64, all right. Now, we're getting closer to solving the problem. I've got the trailer, I've got the vehicle to trail, you know, to tow to the shows, because you don't want to drive this to all the car shows. It's too clean, too much money in the paint, rims and wheels. So in order to do that, so now we've got the trailer, the vehicle to trail, and now we have something to pull that, and that something is the SIN F450 SD custom truck from SIN racing. This is what I unboxed on my own, didn't do the video, so I've got the box to show you. And inside that box we have, make sure you know it's still there, okay? I'm not playing, this is real magic. All right, let me cover it up. But we've now removed the box, boom, and we bring in the new star of the show, the latest addition to the Jason's to Productions fleet. We got the Sin Racing F450 in the titanium gray. Now we have to trailer it. Well, we've got a trailer hitch back here, a hookup for it, but in order to make it look right and clean, I went ahead and got in contact with Sin Racing and I picked up the Sin Racing CKD 0450, that's Charlie Kilo Delta 0450 aluminum trailer tow hitch with 5.8 millimeter tow hitch pivot ball right here. I get a close-up picture of that. We're going to install that today. Easy install. First upgrade modification that I'm going to do for the Sin Racing F450. Let's move to the bench. Let's hit it. All right, fam. Step one in this, since we're going to be working with the tow hitch, we're at the rear end of the vehicle. And step one is very simple. Uh, remove your body. So we got the body removed, and this is the rear end of the Sin F450. 
and we're primarily going to be working right here in this area right here to move a few bolts replace a few pieces it does have a trailer hitch already installed we've got our parts so now i'm going to go ahead and focus more on doing the install less on the talking lay some dope beats over this we're going to close it up head back to the studio i'll keep it nice and short so let's get into it <laughs> Take a quick note and show you uh, what the similarity is between the factory and then the uh, new tow hitch um, receiver piece that we just purchased. Now, this right here, let me get this, make sure it's in focus, is what we just removed. All right, this is from the factory. This is the, uh, the tow hitch receiver, right? In the kit, which we've already installed, the actual bar and the pivot ball, you'll see that the tow hitch receiver is the exact same thing. The only difference is it's gray in color. So the choice is yours. You can, if you choose to, keep the factory assembly on and just install the bar and the pivot ball, or you can take it off and replace everything. So it's only a matter of color. The factory is black, and in the kit, it is gray. Totally up to you. All right, fam, next up, what we're going to do, and I figured I'd talk some more during this portion so you could actually see what I was talking about. We have these two metal pieces right here. There are two of these, and these are the frame extensions, and these basically go with the cutout portion. Let me get a little close here so you can see what I'm talking about. There's a cutout portion right here. See that U-shaped cutout portion? You want to ensure that that U-shaped cutout portion is facing the inside of the frame. So, it'll slide right in, and that U-shaped cutout portion will be right here, facing towards the inside. All right, this is the inside of the frame between the two frame rails, and that's what you want. You want the flat portion that doesn't have the cutout to be on the outside. There'll be one on each side, both of the U cutout portions facing the inside. Additionally, let me just go over this real quick because it's gonna be very difficult to see. And I'm gonna probably uh, lace up an overlay photo or video as I talk about it. On the frame extensions, you're gonna use two fasteners. One will be 10 millimeter and the other will be eight millimeter. All right, now according to the instructions, I'm gonna get back in focus as I say this portion. The eight millimeter fastener is gonna be in the hole that is closest to the vehicle, meaning closest towards the front of the vehicle. That's where the eight millimeter fastener is gonna go. The 10 millimeter fastener is gonna go closer to the rear of the frame and that 10 millimeter fastener is going to also have two spacers that you're going to use in between the frame extension and the rear sway bar attachment to even everything out. So that's very difficult for you to see. I just wanted to tell you that. Overlaid the photo of how it looks and now you'll understand how this is put together. All right fam, so once you've installed these frame extensions here, we're pretty much done. Now there's one bit to note. 
on the 10 millimeter fasteners, which again, let me refocus. It's going to be on the hole closest to the rear of the vehicle on both sides. You have four spacers, two spacers for each side, and those spacers go on the 10 millimeter fastener. And I'm sorry about the focus. Now, you, you should get two loose metal spacers and two plastic spacers on a parts tree. The way it goes is one spacer of each size. You have 1.5 millimeter and one one millimeter spacer. A set goes on each side. So you put a 0.5 and a one on this side and a 0.5 and a one on that side, both on the 10 millimeter fasteners with the 0.5 closest to the frame and the one point on the outside. Screw that in and we're almost finished. So the last step is to take our receiver hitch assembly. Piece of cake, you know where it's gonna go. It's gonna slide in right here at the rear on these two frame extensions. Fits right in, nice and snug. And there's a better look at how that's gonna look once you have it all installed. There it is, there's our frame, original frame ends right here. Here's our frame extension, and there goes our new, or if you use the factory receiver hitch, along with the bar and pivot ball installed, all we need now are to use two M3 by 12 millimeter button head fasteners. And for those, you do not need to use any Loctite and we'll be done. So let me do that and we'll close this out. Everything's installed. Only adjustment I'm gonna have to make now is the length, you know, to pull it in or out for the tow bar. And pretty much that's it, quick, simple, and easy. But now we've got our tow hitch installed. Very simple, everything's in, sturdy, frame extended, trailer hitch. Let's see if it works. All right, fam, we're all hooked up. Got the trailer hitch tow assembly on the Sin F450, easy install. Hopefully it wasn't too convoluted or you know it wasn't too tight of an angle to see what I was doing. Some of the photos and overlays that I, I popped up during the install, hopefully that helped out, but it's really easy. Simple instructions, easy. Tells you where you need to use Loctite and where you don't. Remember, Loctite is always required when you're going metal to metal, never metal to plastic. As long as you got your trailer, you're good to go. So fam, this is the end of another one. Try to keep it short and simple. Again, no unboxing on the Sin F450. You'll see it in more videos in the future. But I wanted to do this quick kind of quasi semi tutorial on how to install the trailer hitch assembly. Again, this trailer hitch assembly is from Sin Racing. There are other assembly out there that you can use for the installation, maybe similar, maybe not. But this one is specifically from Sin made and designed for the Sin F450. So fam, that's it. The end of another one, I'm done. I'm out of here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Stick around, we're coming up on our one year anniversary and we have a giveaway slated for that one year anniversary. So stay tuned, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know I post all my latest videos and you can be eligible or at least you'll be informed as to when the next giveaways are happening. As always, I am Jay of Jay Sinister Productions, exiting stage left. Jay Sinister Productions.
Sinister Productions. He's on his